YouTubers. Let me introduce you to the latest member of the family. This is Ralph, or his full name is Green Ralph. Uh, it's a cargo bike that we've built. I've not actually done a full sort of series of um, pictures or videos on this, on the build. I wasn't intending on doing but I just thought I'd just show you with a, a few uh, pictures added into the video that we took during, during building him. Um, his cargo bike, as you can see, he's been made, and hence why he gets his name, Green Ralph. The Ralph comes from this bit of the bike, and which was a, an old rally, and part of the sticker had ripped off, and it looked like it was uh, a LF or Ralph, and it just sort of stuck. And the green bit is not just because we've painted him green, but because he's been made up of um, a couple of old bikes. So instead of recycling, we've reused, um, so obviously to help the environment. So we've reused as many parts as we can uh, on the bike. So we've got, still got the old um, chain rings at the front. Um, we've still got the old, the old wheels um, off, the, off the smaller bike. We've used about the 20-inch wheel and the 700C off the original at the front. Plus the tyres, which on the front one didn't need changing, uh, but we changed it to the same tyre we've got on the back, which is the green compound, uh, which is using recycled materials. And everything we've done, like I say, even the old grips with the holes in the end, we've tried to use everything we can um, to keep him as green as possible. So we'll just run through basically what we've got. So I say so we've got a, a gents back at the front, um, I say 700c wheel, down to a, a child's bike at the back, and where the, we basically we use this part of the, 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 the gents bike, and then the child's bike at the back to give us the 20 inch wheel, to give us um, this necessary to drop this down to give us a load area and to put all the cargo where we want on there. So as you can see we've got a flat bed uh, so you can put anything you want on there, you can bungee strap it on, anything, anything like that. Uh, but we've also got this tub which just bolts on, which doesn't give you a big load, you know, a big cargo area for all your shopping or anything, you know, nipping to the post office, any parcels or anything like that. So we'll just come through now, we'll show you some of the pictures uh, and just a bit more explanation of what we've actually done to him. As you can see from that, uh, the old bottom bracket was a, a bit uh, a bit past it, so that hence why I fit the new bracket. Um, this is the, the picture showing the original concept, but uh, how to put the two bikes together. Um, you can see they, they fit quite well, gives the, the length we needed, and also using the 20 inch uh, bike wheel, um, it gives the allowance then for the, the, the load area. You know, look at the box on the back, and um, this is it just just tacked together. Um, just just basically tack, just checking that everything worked okay, everything sort of lined up uh, before the final welding. And like I say, I'm putting the um, the, the strengthening piece in where we needed, uh, especially the, the piece here at the bottom bracket. You can just see, and um, there's the frame all sprayed up, um, ready to go before the build. And there's there's the final build. So, those are the main bits that we did. Um, just some little finer details. Like I said, we put some extra support in um, because of, because of the extra load this, this frame's taking. I felt like we, we go over a big bumper, a big pothole. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of force being put onto this, this original frame, which obviously wasn't designed for cargo. So we just sort of put the extra support in there. Also, down at the bottom bracket, there's one down here, just a little extra support going across. And one little key little feature you might have noticed is we've got this little idler wheel. I'll just show you. Uh, a little bit of a close-up of that now. So yeah, yeah we've added this side of the wheel. Um, one of the main reasons was the chain's quite low. Uh, we get a lot of bounce on it, so going up and down curves it sort of catches. But also um, when the foot stand's retracted, uh, it also catches on that. Which is a very important stand, because uh, when you're loading anything onto it, you know, you want a good solid base, you don't want it falling over while you're trying to strap things on. So adding that in there just gives it a little bit of the tension that we need just keep the chain taut and keep it out of the way so as i said everything we've done we've tried to use original um odd, there's odd new parts which i like on any bike if it wears out and it can't be repaired you've got to replace so we've added a new bottom bracket burn in there we've still the old crank set in there even this bottle case came off an old bike um right through to sort of parts that were not used on other projects like the front brakes on this but we still get the original back brake off the old bike so wherever possible we just we've, we've kept to original parts or reused parts but if not we've had to just buy the odd one i think i think the bottom bracket is probably the only uh, brand new part we've actually we've actually fitted apart from new cables which obviously because we've gone longer we have to fit new cables uh, because obviously the original ones were, were way too short 
Um, going into the, the green, reusing and recycling things, uh, this frame we've used here for the, the load area. Uh, this is actually used, it was a, a cover from an old um, mobility scooter, if you will, you know, the plastic covers that, you know, to keep you dry in the rain. Uh, that was actually a resource from that. So everything basically, we've, we've bought no new steel, everything's recycled from either bikes or other, other bits of steel that I've had, had knocking around. So yeah, so there it is. Um, the green bikes are one, help your, your fuel costs on your car, help the environment, um, mainly help your pocket, you know. So yeah, so there he is, Green Ralph. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you don't mind liking and subscribing to the channel, it'd be fantastic. Until next time, YouTubers, it'll be great. Right.